Jesus, eagle bearer. Your name and glory drop from everyone's lips. My sisters and I wish to throw a grand festival in your honor. You will be the cherished guest, if you insist. However, there is one more who could benefit from your attention. Halkipi frets about her brother. In truth, he is a strange one, touched by madness, or perhaps a chosen of the gods. Ah, here she is now. Speak to her, reassure her, and then we will celebrate. By the gods, it's you. It's me. It's you. By the gods, my prayers are answered. Speak to the eagle bearer, my child. You have come to help me. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Ah, yes, of course. It's my brother, Kalistratos. He's always been a bit odd, but this past year, I think the gods have cursed him. Ah, oh, that is, I don't mean to offend. Go on. Your brother? My brother's farm is a small way from the village. Always doing his own thing. I haven't seen him for days, but when I went to pass by, I heard terrifying noises. I think something might have happened, but I'm not brave enough to go see. I'll take a look for you. Thank you. Thank you, Eagle Bearer. You're too kind, too generous, too nice. Thank you. I'll visit your brother's farm and see what's going on. to be. The Mistheos who saved your life? You could say thanks. Huh. Not sure you had to kill my best chickens, though. Watch your tongue, little man. I came on behalf of your sister, who showed proper respect. Don't make me angry. So tell her I'm fine already. Hmm. Maybe I can get a gold from Masara and catch a lion and breed them somehow. Maybe with a snake. I'm sure I could make a fortune. Halkipi, your brother is something else. But he's alive and, I suppose, well, 
Thank you, Eagle Bearer. Yes, <laughs> he is a difficult one. But you have answered my prayers. I will always be your devoted servant. Ah. Uh... The priestesses have begun preparing a great feast in your honor for all of Linu to celebrate you. It will be magnificent. Cassandra, Calamity, Myrto has been struck down by illness. Take me to her. The girl was thrilled about the idea of the festival to honor you. She was rushing about, buzzing with excitement, when she suddenly collapsed. Please, Igulberger. Can you do anything for her? I'll ask around and see if anyone else knows anything. And see if I can't find the priestess. Nothing. I just want to know if you saw what happened to the girl, Mirto. I saw the girl steal a taste of food for your feast. And she fell ill. She tasted it? Yes. I'm sorry. Please don't punish me. What? No, of course not. I curse you. Your anger is well storied. We seek only to please you, unlike that disrespectful waif Mirto. What did Mirto do? I could not say. I only know that Exioni called Mirto a wrongdoer and said you had punished her for her transgressions as a warning to us all. That is ridiculous. I need to find Exioni. <laughs> Grey hair, where can I find the priestess Exioni? You must know. The priestess and her sisters have a secluded retreat. None know where it is, for it is hidden from common eyes. I cannot say more for risk of offending them or you. Those women do not speak for me. Tell me now, or I'll get angry. Yes, yes. They appear from and retreat to a secret den past the border to Elise. Time to have words. Off we go now. Yeah. Oh, I'm from a... Mater told me to meet her at the statue of Artemis in the Cedar.
Alexioni, why did you flee from the village? I left to consult with my sisters. We needed to understand why the poor girl was struck down. Did Lenu offend the divine eagle bearer somehow? Or are we being tested by greater powers of Olympus? <sighs> are the gods testing our faith? Or yours? I don't want to play games. Please, tell me what you know so I can save Mirto. <laughs> of course, beloved eagle bearer. We want the same. We prayed for an answer, and it was delivered. In the sacred cave, there is a plant that can save her, but it is too dangerous for us mere mortals to descend into. I'll go get it. Priestesses expect me to become bear shit? First the bear, then the bear. I get the feeling the priestesses were hoping for a martyr god, and not a pissed off Mystios. Got it. Wait. This plant is nothing but pig feed. It won't do anything. Malaga! I killed your bear. You're here. You're alive. Very much so. And angry. You better have an antidote for poor Mirto, or else. <laughs> or what? Shut your lying, filthy mouths! You poisoned Mirto to try to hurt me. And then when I found you, you tried to feed me to a cursed bear. Yes. No, we didn't mean it. Didn't mean it? You lying, Malikes! You've got Linu wrapped around your fingers, and you're living fat off the villagers in my name! It's true! So true, your divinity! I am not a god, you thieving swine! Give me the antidote for Mirto, or I'll split your heads open! Now, be gone!
I have the medicine for Mirto. Quick, let's give it to her. Cassandra? Shh, rest. You did it. That was close. You need to talk to the villagers. Look inside yourselves. You'll know that I'm no god, and you can live for yourselves. Maybe you are right. Still, you saved my daughter. I'll never forget that. Thank you, Eagle Bearer, for giving us the courage to stand on our own. When I eventually finish your statue, it will be a reminder to the village of your message, and a guide for them to do for themselves.
This place is nice.
Where's the camp? Nothing but that tablet. I wonder what it says. So the light beams are the key. Check the tablet again. These ruins look old. I wonder who built them and when. What are those towers? <laughs> 